Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here's my follow-up video about Android 12 Beta 3. I spotted even more features to share with you. Before starting, let me remind you that Amazon Affiliate and Wallpaper links are in the description below. So if you want to support the channel, that will be really appreciated. And now let's take a look at more features in Android 12 Beta 3. I will start with adaptive theming and I spotted different behaviors that I didn't see before. Starting from the home screen, when you tap on hold to access the home screen shortcuts, as you see here, the colors are exactly the same for all three menu items. But when I tap and hold on a different part of the wallpaper, now I have three different colors. I have blue, yellow, and pink, which means that the menu colors are now adapting with the wallpaper, it depends on where the menus are showing. So for example, when I tap and hold here, I'm getting different colors. When I tap and hold here, and you got the idea. But if we're gonna take a look here on the second beta, no matter where I tap on the screen, the menu items are using the same color all the time. This new behavior applies to the app's shortcuts as well. So for example, when I tap and hold on WhatsApp, I'm getting yellow and pink colors. When I try Google Photos, I'm getting only pink. But when I try an app on the left side, I'm getting a blue color. So it depends where your app is located on the screen. The menus will change their colors accordingly. I also found that Beta 3 sometimes uses a dark gray color for the folders, even if you are not using dark theme. So here I have the same wallpaper on both and also I'm using light theme on both. However, Beta 3 is using a dark gray color while Beta 2 is using the same color I have in my notification shade. I also found that the default color choices are completely different even with the same wallpaper. So for example, Beta 2 is now using a green color while Beta 3 is using a pink color. The app shortcuts are also different. Here they are green and purple while Beta 2 is using a white color and so on. Some people also asked if there is any difference between the two in dark theme. So now I'm turning the lights a little bit down to easily spot the difference on camera. Starting with notifications, Beta 3 is using a lighter gray color. And when you go to settings, you will see the same with the search bar, same as the recent apps screen. But the app drawer is exactly the same. Both are using a black color. Next, Google camera. And I spotted one small difference. Now when you slide your finger on top of the zoom levels, it will quickly switch between them, but it will no longer show you the slider. While here on beta 2, when you do the same, it will start the zoom slider right away. On beta 3 to get the zoom slider, you need to tap and hold first and then start dragging your finger. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by bcdkey.com. It's an online digital key store that sells games, Windows, and Office keys in very discounted prices. So let's take Windows 10 Pro Retail Key as an example. It's a price to add $15.76, which is a great deal already, but you can make it even better by using my special promo code IND24 to get extra 24% discount. So you can get a Windows 10 Pro Retail Key for $11.98. Another great deal to show you is the Microsoft Office 2019 Professional Plus Retail Key. After using my special promo code IND24, you can get yourself the full office package for $41.64. So if you want to know more, all the links will be in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about notifications and notification shade. And the first change is in the media controls. Now when you tap on the album thumbnail, it will take you to the media controls instead of the corresponding app. However, when you tap on the artist and song name, it will open the app normally. When you get a new notification, the status bar icon is now shifted towards the left instead of being misaligned like in beta 2. And when I connected my pixel buds to beta 3, I'm getting a different notification. It will start with the word devices and then you will see the name of your earpods. However, here on beta 2, you will see the name of the earpods straight away. Also the battery status for the left and right buds is no longer using those two small images, but instead you will get the text left and right. Also on beta 3, you will no longer see the sparkling animation when you tap on the tiles. Beta 3 also gave more space for the messages options and now you can see more, while on beta 2, you can only see two letters. Now let's talk about settings. And there are some differences that I didn't mention before, starting with the battery. The view battery usage is now called battery usage only. And when you go inside, the PM and the AM indicators are no longer showing on the graph. Also, when you expand the system usage for the past 24 hours, now you will see the screen on time is back again to Android 12, which was missing from the previous builds. 
Also under system usage, I found this new Android system item that didn't exist before. Plus the Android OS and the Android system both are dimmed while here Android OS is available. But when you tap on it, nothing happens, which makes more sense here on beta three. And finally, the mobile network standby and this weird android.hardware.input both are gone from beta three. Next, the apps menu. Now when you go inside and then tap on any of the apps to access the app info page, and then mobile data and Wi-Fi. Now you will see a filter at the top that can show you up to two months worth of data usage for this app. And when you go back again under the app info page, you will no longer see this option, which is called remove permissions and the free up space. However, you still have the same option under permissions. Also, you will see it under permissions here on beta two. So I'm not sure what the difference between the two. So it seems like this is just a redundant option. Next under system and then gestures, now you will see a new graphical representation for some features. The first one is tap to check phone, lift to check phone, prevent ringing, and swipe fingerprint for notifications. Next, under Google, there is a new option that I didn't see before called mobile data plan. And when I tap on it, it says loading plan info from do, which is my service provider, but it fails at the end. I'm not really sure what it does. So if you can give it a try and let me know in the comments, that will be really appreciated. Next, under privacy, and then privacy dashboard. And when you go inside any of the permissions, the manage permissions button will be hidden unless you start scrolling. And on beta two, when you start using the camera or the microphone, it will first show you this bigger icon. And then after a few seconds, it will change to a small dot. While on beta three, it will start with the dot right away. Next under security. Now you will see Google play system update is on August 1st, 21, while beta two is still stuck on May 1st. Next. The digital well-being and the parental controls menu item is now pushed further down in the settings list. The force 90 Hertz refresh rate under developer options is now called force peak refresh rate. And based on your comments, the enable phase detection under auto rotate screen is not available on pixel three models. Now let's talk about the issues I spotted after installing beta three. And the first one is in the animations. Sometimes they become very laggy for no reason and the issue goes away on its own as well. So you need to keep that in mind if you want to uninstall it on your phone. The second problem is this weird looking search bar in the app drawer. I don't believe that this is the final design in Android 12, but this is just a small problem because the search bar works as expected without any issues. The third issue I have is in the gaming mode. Now when I go to settings and then digital well-being and the parental controls and then do not disturb and then schedules, here I have the gaming mode listed twice for some reason. And when I tap on settings, it crashes and doesn't take me anywhere. I also found that a couple of features have gone missing. The first one is under settings and then sound and vibration. Previously, we used to have a feature called adaptive sound. This feature was only available on the Pixel 4a 5G and the Pixel 5 to enhance the sound quality but you won't find it anymore under the sound and vibration settings for some reason. And I couldn't find it anywhere in the settings too. There is one more feature missing under sound and vibration. When you go to now playing and then now playing history, previously when you highlight any of the songs, we used to get a button here at the top right corner to add these songs to a YouTube music playlist. So let me show you how it looks here on my Pixel 4a. So as you see, I'm highlighting two songs now and there is a button here next to the delete button when I tap on it. I should be able to add those two songs to my YouTube music playlist. But this feature is no longer showing here for some reason. Now let's talk about the performance. And I didn't notice any major improvement after installing beta three. And here are my Geekbench results. The first one I did while running Android 12 beta 2.1. And the second one was on beta three. As you see here, the numbers are very close. There is only a slight improvement after installing beta three, but in real life, you won't notice any difference. You can also see on the screen, my Geekbench results were running Android 11, June 21 security update, and the difference is very minor. So don't expect any performance improvements with Android 12 just yet. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the rest of the changes I didn't mention in my previous video about Android 12 beta three. So I hope you like my video. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.